Meet Dirk, a 70-year-old giant tortoise who calls London Zoo his home. He's pretty easy to spot, making his keeper's job today far from difficult, as the zoo does its annual stock take. I am very lucky today. Um, a lot of my fellow keepers have to go after the harder things. I've only got three giant tortoises to count. It still took me a while, but that's just because I tend to be a bit slow in, my, in the morning. It's very cold. Every animal must be checked and counted so the zoo knows exactly how many of each species it has. It's also a legal requirement. Do you know, it's important that we know not just how many animals we've got, but also who we've got. And once we've got all that information, we send it to a global animal database called ISIS. And this information is used to manage breeding programs for critically endangered species across the world zoos. So it's a really important task we're doing today. And it also gives keepers the chance to rectify any mistakes. This, for instance, is Liam, but for the first six months of his life, he was called Leah, as his keepers thought he was a girl. The sexing of animals is a lot easier when they grow up, grow up into themselves a lot more. And yes, unfortunately, we uh, kind of got it a little wrong, but that's, that's why it's really good these times of the year, we'll uh, check out all of our youngsters and get them microchipped and check them over health-wise and sex them officially. The count is going well, and it's even easier when the animals don't interfere. The final tally will help conservationists see the outlook for all the species. Protecting these animals and educating the visitors is crucial in ensuring their long-term survival.